Okay, now you can look. So it should be right in the center of the eyepiece, very tiny. That's about what Galileo first saw. You can see that there's obviously something there, like a little elliptical oval. Oh, wow, but you can see the rings. Yeah, but you can see the rings. It's very tiny at 45, yes. at 45 power magnification. Yes, but, um, you can see it around the planet. Yeah, and I originally came here just with the intention of putting the camera, I didn't think there was gonna be anybody here. But putting the camera out of the eyepiece and taking a shot of it and just showing people on the back of the screen what it looks like, yeah. yeah. But it is small, and that's all he saw. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll, uh, oh my goodness. You know, I'll put a higher powered eyepiece in there. After she put the last one next, and you can see it bigger. That's really oh, cool. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a ring on this. What are you looking at? Uh, the planet Saturn. The what? Saturn. The planet Saturn and its rings. It looks like a star out there over the tree, like a bright star. Not the, not the brighter star, way over to the left, that's Mars. That's Mars. Yeah, Saturn's way over to the right there. And then just down over the high-pointed cedar tree there, whatever that is, that evergreen is, that's the star Antares and Scorpius. Oh, and then the moon's the one way up above it? Below? Uh, that's a star above it. Okay. Uh, right to its right, about, if you were to measure the planet's width of its rings over, maybe about four of the ring widths over, there's a little speck, very, very dim. You have to keep the street lights out of your eyes by kind of putting your hands up to your brow without leaning on the scope. It's real sensitive. Here. But then you'll see it much larger here. I'll right? we'll put a higher part IP soon. Okay, I'll oh, go ahead. I want to see that, but you can tell Yeah, it's. Um, State. I don't want you bumping into anything. State. I'm trying to find a better IP. So I've got so many of them here, I can't keep them straight. It's moving out. Oh, is it? It's probably yeah. it's drifting. Yeah, the, the it's tracking. drifting a little bit. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know the end. Since you saw it way on the edge, it was like yeah, way on, it was way on the edge. What yeah. side was it on? Uh, it was on the left. left. Okay, so I've lost it. Because I saw it for one second as it set yeah, on so the edge want, of the limbs. You want to come back and see it in the middle when it's got more. You just stay there. Oh. So I think everybody here saw it. Like this is very tiny. That's about what Galileo first saw, as I was telling the others. Uh -huh. oh, wow. he, he didn't even see it that big. He saw it a quarter of that size. He wrote his log. This wow. planet seems to have ears. He, just saw, he saw two fuzzy spots of light on either side of the planet. He yeah. knows a ring because his yeah. optics are so bad. We can let her look too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pucci. You want to see a Saturn? No. She's like, no. I just want to greet everybody. Hi. <laughs> right. She's like, this is way fun. <laughs> this is awesome. It's late in the year because it's going to drop behind the sun eventually in the next couple few weeks, and. Uh, it was more impressive back in say June or July when it was up high uh -huh. in the sky here. It's, it's so low now. It's, um, it's getting distorted, looking low in the atmosphere for us. Serious astronomers don't observe objects in detail in the sky when they're low in the sky like this. When they're higher up, you can see better detail. Because the atmosphere we're looking through is this 10 mile ocean of air of turbulences. And, Jet streams and motions. Now you can almost see the Cassini division on each end of the rim. If you know what to look for, there's a dark line. If it's very well focused, I saw some of you wear eyeglasses like I do. If you grab the focus knob right here underneath, this little rubber tube coming out, the telescope will vibrate a bit as you try to focus it and make sure it's locked down here. But it will, when you turn it back and forth like I'm doing here with my right hand, just barely tweaking it back and forth. You'll see it coming in and out of focus. And what you should look for is that little speck of starlight off to its right. You might not see it here because of the light pollution right now, but it's there. I saw it earlier now, I can't see it. That's tracking better. What you'll see, if you look at a picture of Saturn, and you can go ahead, if you know what to look for, and someone shows you in a picture, then you know what to see. You'll see this. Um, I know this is, it gets to be kind of a lot of dry technical stuff, but it's. Um, we can listen to your voice all night. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually very hoarse right now from talking all day. I talk all day to people, so I get. By late at night, I walk, in, I walk into delis in the morning, go to order food or, or whatever, and I walk in and it sounds like this, and some woman will say, I could listen to you talk all night long. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, I'll talk all night long. <laughs> so, um, but by yeah. late at night, it gets down to, it kind of it gets hoarse like it is right now, and it gets quieter and quieter. Eventually, it sounds like 
go ahead, make my day. <laughs> just comes out as a whisper later. Oh, that's what wow. My ex wives and girlfriend just to say, Are you ever going to stop talking? That is awesome. You need to get to sleep and go to work in the morning, Mark. That is totally awesome. Yeah, well, it's really, it's wow. a little bigger. But that's if you know what to look for, there's that little speck of starlight. I don't see it for myself, and I should be able wow. to see it. The ring. Mm -hmm. so um, oh, that's much more. Clear. Yeah, you can really see it. Which way do I look for the starlight? Well, there's a little speck of starlight to its right, and it's its largest moon, Titan, but I don't, for some reason, I just don't see it there right now. I need to move the, the scope a bit. Right, but I'm getting a much better view of the well, ring. I can go even bigger, yeah. Cool. We're not, yeah. There's, there's lots of eyepieces to look through. Right. And you can magnify a lot more, but the problem is you're, you're oh dictated God, by what so magnification cool. you can use any given night by the atmospheric conditions. So you get that on your phone? Well, this is just on, on the internet right now. But this is what you're seeing. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you know where to look on the edges of the ring, there's actually a little dark line like this around inside the uh -huh. ring. It's called the Cassini Division. Galileo never saw that. But about a half a century I'll take later. A picture of that. Oh, I'm sorry, sure. I can hold, why don't we hold up over this phone? Can you do that? Over the, while she's looking, would you do that? Take yeah, a picture really of him looking back here. And that way you can see what somebody's looking at him when I'm in the Yeah, that's good. And can you? Can you step back and watch the camera? Oh, yeah. see. It's actually filming. Is it's, it really? It just don't bump it. It's actually, it's in video. There we go. But if you, would you take a picture of me standing like this, doing this, and send it to me? I'm sorry, I'm asking a lot. Oh, sure. <laughs> but the, but just, the, don't, just don't bump into that thing. It's gonna... Does your phone take a better, I mean, let me see. I'll, just, I'll do this real quick. Now, I'll show you what this will do. Um, actually, I'll show it to you in the camera. It won't look this good, but I'll show you what it can do. Let me show you this real quick. We'll prop this up here for the purpose of display. And I'll put this over the eyepiece yeah. and let oh, you yeah, see this. And you can do this with a digital camera today. And uh, you might see that what I'm showing you on the phone right now. Awesome. Thank you so much for oh, sure. me Saturn, sir. Hey, you're welcome. It. Sure. I want people to see this though. All right, thanks for looking. There's, a, there's, actually, there's actually more to the universe than this. <laughs> but <laughs> I thought she was with you. When she you, is. She just, we're, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. But what you can actually see is, um, yeah. I'm so, I didn't mean to babble so much about my life and everything else, but I get told <laughs> I do that. I get told yeah. I do that a lot. I'm actually... Oh, that's cool. I tend to be over-animated. I'm actually a background extra actor, too, for movies yeah. and things in Portland. But I've been in Portlandia twice and Grimm a couple of weeks ago. Or, <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that I was going to do it until they sent me a text one day. We're Grimm hunters. I don't know anything about the show, really. I've never even watched it. <laughs> Oh but my God! I, uh, you'll yeah, see me in the either, but I've seen them filming it. <laughs> you'll see me on the January issue or January episode, I guess. Yeah, I've went to a lot of places where they've taped. Yeah. Yeah, where'd you guys tape at? Uh, it was at a warehouse somewhere northwest yeah. industrial. And they were they were in a park. We had to lay on the floor right dead for nine hours with guns in our hands. I didn't even know I was going to do this until I got there. But how'd you get? The, uh, oh, I'm listed with the services and. Uh, Oh, nice. I'm trying to, here, this is still filming as I'm going along here. It's been going for eight minutes. <laughs> so I'm trying to describe what I'm doing here. Here it is. I just got it. See it? Oh, yeah. It's very tiny. Now watch when you, oh, I forgot. I'm actually in, I'm in video mode. I forgot. What I want to show you is what it does in still mode. And that's going to be another second or two here. Okay. It's just, you'll see it once it comes up here. Can you imagine people not, just sitting in their homes, not watching television when they could be out here doing this? Right. It's, <laughs> But no, I've been up here. I've been up here for hundreds of hours doing this. I actually got to make sure it's still in here. I'm gonna bump the eyepiece and knock it out. It's way off to the edge. And all right, you're picking bugs. He's been doing it all night. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Did somebody look at this recently and they didn't see it because it's out of focus? No, I saw it when I was in there last. All right, because I, I think I just knocked it out of focus. Is what I did. I'm waiting for it to move here. It's. Hey. I'm trying to adjust it. Oh, it was my phone. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. It just fell apart. It's all right. It's just completely in pieces now. And there's the case, and there's the there's the battery over there too. A little black. Sorry about that. This happened to you before, huh? Oh, I've, I've dropped it a hundred times since I bought it two years ago. It's just it's a cheap Windows Nokia. Oh, it isn't. People think <laughs> people it think it's an iPhone when they see it. That isn't why I bought it. I just come here. The Virgin Mobile people offered it for forty nine ninety five, and I couldn't pass it up. Put it back together and then mess it up. So, 
Yeah, here it is, and I'm going to just... Um, Saturn. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, the rain. Can't let you look. 